Hey guys, in this video I'm reviewing the Little Green Bissell Extractor and at different points we're going to compare it to the Bissell Pro Extractor as well. Now for those of you who are watching this video and you're just like, I don't want to watch it, just tell me which one to buy. Do I buy the Little Green or do I buy the Bissell Pro? Buy the Bissell Pro. Guys, thank you so much for watching and as always from Luke here. Now for those of you who want to dive a little bit deeper into that, let me show you guys both of these machines working next to each other. But before I show you guys the Little Green Bissell Extractor in action, I wanted to let you know I am hosting a live free training on September 15th where I'm sharing with you guys exactly how to scale your detailing business to three to $5,000 a month on autopilot. That means a detailing business where the entire foundation is maintenance clients who pay you again and again and again. If you're a detailer and you're not able to fill up your schedule with regular customers, if you're constantly chasing new customers, if you're negotiating on prices, if you're working eight hours a day with nasty cars, or if you're just part-time and you haven't figured out how to go full-time, I am literally giving you guys an hour and a half of free training, sharing with you the business strategies that work today to not only bring customers to you 24 seven, but also how to turn them into a maintenance client who pays you over and over and over again. The link to register is in the YouTube description box below. The seats fill up really, really quickly. And the closer we get, we will probably fill up and have to turn you away. If you want to register, go below in the YouTube description box, click the link, put in your email. I'll see you guys on September 15th. Now check out this extractor. So guys, the first thing you'll notice when I unbox this extractor, is that yes, it is very small and very portable. That part I like a lot. It's also extremely simple. It comes with basically the extractor and the little head that you put on it that of course is that suction head that sprays out the water, vacuums it up. It's got a brush attached to it so you can agitate your cleaner as well. You can obviously fill up the clean tank to the top. If you're looking at the extractor from the front, on the left side is the clean tank, on the right side is the dirty tank. And while the measurement is not exactly correct, the hose is about five feet long. For you guys wondering how much you're gonna have to move the extractor around when you're actually using it. Yes, I had to move it around a lot when I was using it as well. Now let's go ahead and start using this on just some average tan carpet inside of an old vehicle where there's lots of stains. It is relatively dirty. So I am going to be using my classic DS2 end cap cleaner on this carpet. I'll hook up that product in the YouTube description box below if you want to see it. After I agitate it with my brush, I'm going to start using the extractor. The first thing I want to make a note of as you guys are watching me pull this extractor across the carpet is that no, the water does not spray out as much as I kind of thought it would. And to be totally honest with you, while the difference is really, really subtle, the Bissell Pro, which I used on some upholstery not too long ago, does have what I would call a greater PSI in its ability to just spray that water out. Now, some of you might be thinking, listen, Luke, why would I want a ton of water spraying out and potentially have to wait a long time for the carpet to dry or let it mildew? The fact of it is, if an extractor does not put out a sufficient enough water, it kind of defeats the purpose. And if I had to lean one direction or the other, I would say, I'd rather too much water than too little. And the sprayer head on the little green machine is just relatively weak, even next to the Bissell Pro, which is not some expensive machine compared to this one, but it is a noticeable difference. Secondly, let's talk about the thing that everybody actually wants to know about, which is the suction power. Does the little green machine have more suction power than the Pro? Are they basically the same? I'm splitting hairs at this point, but I want to show you guys the little green machine on a car seat that I had to take out of the car to clean. I'm cleaning the back of it, kind of the sides of it. This is a leather seat, but it's got a lot of cloth on the back that gets really, really dirty over time. The fact of it is the suction on the little green machine is noticeably weaker than the Pro. Now, I want to be really, really clear about this. The difference between the suction of the little green machine and the Pro, like I said, is very little. It's not like some grand difference that's really noticeable. But what I would say is the Pro machine is the bottom of the barrel in terms of what I would pay for an extractor. I would not go weaker than that suction power and that PSI simply because as I'm using this little green machine on the seat, I am not able to get the suction power power necessary for me to justify even pulling out an extractor. I know this may burst some of your bubbles because I know a lot of people in the detailing world talk really highly of this machine and it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's below the floor that I would allow myself to have or to buy in an extractor that I justify pulling out and getting the carpet wet and doing what I might be able to do just with a steamer or with my drill brush and some other chemicals without having to use an extractor in the first place. So I want you guys to continue to see the little green machine in action here, but let me give you a couple pros and cons. We'll start with the pros here. Number one, I was able to get through all of the extraction that I did today without having to change the tank or fill it up. So one full tank of clean water was enough for me to get through the extraction that I needed. Should I have had to do this entire vehicle? It absolutely would not have been enough. But again, if you're doing 25%, 35% of a vehicle, this is probably more than enough. Number two, it sits at like 130 bucks, maybe even a little less. So if you are on a crazy tight budget, this probably does make a lot of sense. Number 
three, it's incredibly simple, right? It's got a hose, it's got a cord, it's got an on-off switch, and a clean and empty tank. There's not a lot that can go wrong here in terms of parts missing, you screwing it up, not knowing how to do it, and it's definitely ready to use right out of the box. I don't have to set anything up. What are the main cons? Well, just like I said, not enough suction power, not enough PSI, and to be totally honest with you, if I'm gonna spend $126 on an extractor and I'm comparing it to one that's like 180, maybe 200 bucks here, I'm going to justify the extra 70 bucks I might have to spend in order to raise my floor ever so slightly to get the Bissell Pro. So if it is between these two machines, I do suggest the Bissell Pro over the little green machine for those reasons. The last thing I'll say is this. If you're a pro detailer and you already have the little green machine and this is what you've been using over the Pro, I don't necessarily suggest going on Amazon and buying the Pro because if you're going to start spending extra money on extractors, I suggest saving it and going for something bigger, maybe like the Mighty Light 8070, potentially something like the Aqua Pro Vac because going from the little green machine to this is really not going to be enough for you to spend another $70 on top of what you've already spent. I just think if this is your first time buying an extractor and you're a detailer who needs one for rare occasions, the Bissell Pro is probably one to take you further than the little green machine is going to and you'll be more satisfied with the money you spent. Now obviously all of the tools and products I talked about in this video will be linked up in the YouTube description box below as well as the link for you to register for that live free training that I'm holding on September 15th. It's been over a year and a half since I last did this training, training you guys on the business side of how to bring in customers that pay you every single month so you're not building a business that's going to fail after a year like most detailers. I want you guys to scale to at least 60 grand a year using these strategies which is very 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 possible and if you're a detailer who's already making that kind of money this is going to be very helpful to light some fire underneath what you're already doing. Register with the link in the YouTube description box below. Guys thank you so much for watching and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.